Welcome to Good Night Tales. Jack's Family Dream One peaceful night, Jack drifted off to sleep with a smile on his face. As the clock struck midnight, he slid into an enchanting dream. A soft, shimmering light filled his room. Yet again, it was Luna, the beautiful fairy with wings that sparkled like stardust appeared by his bedside. Would you like to join me on a magical adventure to a farm? Where we can say goodnight to the farm animals? Jack's eyes widened with excitement. Yes, Luna, I'd love that, he exclaimed. With a wave of her wand, Luna took Jack's hand, and together they soared through the night sky, surrounded by twinkling stars. In the blink of an eye, they arrived at a charming moonlit farm. The farm was serene and peaceful, with the sweet scent of hay, and the soft sounds of animals settling down for the night. Luna and Jack began their journey around the farm, visiting each animal to wish them good night. First, they approached a gentle horse standing quietly by the fence. The moonlight danced on its sleek coat casting a soft, magical glow that made the horse seem almost otherworldly. Good night, dear horse, they whispered softly, their voices filled with warmth and affection. The horse flicked its ears, listening intently, and then nodded slowly, as if acknowledging their words and offering a silent, comforting reply. Next, they found a fluffy sheep grazing peacefully in the moonlit farm. Its woolly coat looked soft and inviting, almost like a cloud resting on the ground. Good night, little sheep, Jack whispered gently, his voice barely louder than a breeze. The sheep lifted its head, blinked slowly at him, and seemed to understand the tender message. With a quiet bleat, it curled up on the cool grass, closing its eyes as it settled down to sleep, comforted by the soft words and the serene night around it. Nearby, a curious cow stood in the moonlit farm, its large, gentle eyes reflecting the soft glow of the night. It mooed softly, as if acknowledging their presence in the quiet darkness. Good night, kind cow, said Jack, his voice warm and soothing. The cow paused, its ears twitching at the sound of his words. With a slow, deliberate nod, it lowered its head, content and peaceful. The cow then settled down in the cool grass, its eyes gradually closing as it drifted off to sleep. Lulled by the calm of the night and Jack's kind farewell, in the cosy barn, they discovered a clucking chicken roosting comfortably on a wooden perch. The warm, earthy scent of hay filled the air, and the soft rustling of feathers added to the peaceful ambiance. Good night, clucking chicken. Jack giggled, his voice filled with playful affection. The chicken tilted its head curiously, its bright eyes briefly meeting Jack's. With a soft cluck, it gave a little nod, as if amused by the goodnight wish. Then drifted off to sleep, comforted by the barn's familiar warmth and Jack's gentle farewell. In a cosy pen, a pig was snuggled up in the soft golden hay, its pink nose buried comfortably as it enjoyed the warmth of its bed. Good night, snuggly pig, Jack whispered softly, his voice gentle and caring. The pig stirred slightly, lifting its head just enough to acknowledge Jack's kind words with a sleepy blink and a faint grunt. Satisfied that all was well, the pig nestled back into the hay, closing its eyes as it drifted back into a peaceful slumber, surrounded by the comforting embrace of its cosy pen. By the pond, a group of ducks swam gracefully, their soft quacks echoing across the still water. 
The moonlight reflected off the surface, creating a shimmering path that the ducks followed as they glided effortlessly. Good night, quacking ducks. Jack called out with a smile, his voice carrying gently across the pond. The ducks paused for a moment, their heads turning in unison toward Jack, as if acknowledging his greeting. With a series of soft nods, they quacked in response before turning and swimming back to their cosy nests by the water's edge. Nearby, a pair of sleepy cats, their fur soft and warm, curled up on the weathered wooden porch of the farmhouse. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a silvery glow across the landscape as the gentle hum of crickets filled the night air. Jack, with a tender smile, approached the peaceful scene. Good night, purring cats, he whispered, his voice barely louder than the breeze. The cats, with a slow blink of their sleepy eyes, acknowledged his presence before settling deeper into their cosy spot. They're purring a soothing lullaby as they drifted off into a serene slumber. Nearby, a rabbit hopped by, its soft fur blending with the shadows of the night as it nibbled on some fresh, crunchy carrots in the farm's garden. The moonlight highlighted its twitching nose and alert ears as it enjoyed its midnight snack. Jack, watching from the porch, couldn't help but chuckle at the sight. Good night, hopping rabbit, he called out with a playful grin. The rabbit paused, lifting its head to meet Jack's gaze. With a subtle nod, as if understanding the boy's words, the rabbit found a cosy spot beneath a leafy bush, curled up, and drifted into a peaceful sleep. As they neared the cosy corner of the garden, a dog eagerly wagged its tail, its joy evident in every movement. Jack knelt beside the dog, gently patting its head. The dog's eyes sparkled with warmth and recognition, a clear sign of its affection for the approaching figures. Good night, faithful friend, Jack whispered. The dog, as if understanding the sentiment, curled up into a snug ball in its favourite spot, its tail still softly wagging before it finally settled down. Soon the dog's breathing grew slow and steady as it drifted into a peaceful sleep, comforted by the presence of its beloved companion. In the quiet expanse of the moonlit field, a sleepy donkey stood, its large ears twitching as it let out a gentle, drowsy bray. The sound was soft, almost like a sigh, as if the donkey was announcing its readiness for rest. Jack and Luna approached slowly and whispered, A good night, sleepy donkey. The donkey's eyes, heavy with sleep, blinked slowly in response. Then with a final contented breath, the donkey lowered its head and eased itself down onto the soft earth. The gentle rustling of the grass was the only sound as the donkey nestled into its familiar resting place its eyes closing as it drifted into a deep, peaceful sleep under the starry sky. With all the animals tucked in and wished goodnight, Luna and Jack felt a warm sense of happiness. Thank you, Luna, for this magical adventure, Jack said. You're welcome, Jack, Luna replied with a smile. Now it's time for you to return to your own bed and have sweet dreams. With a wave of her wand, Luna gently guided Jack back to his room. He snuggled under his covers, his teddy bear by his side. Good night, Luna, Jack murmured, his eyes growing heavy. Good night, Jack, Luna whispered, her voice fading as Jack drifted into a deep, peaceful sleep, filled with dreams of enchanted forests and magical creatures. And from that night on, Every time Jack closed his eyes, he knew that somewhere in his dreams, Luna the Dream Fairy would be waiting to take him on another magical adventure. Good night, kids.